Hi, it's Durbin from Dig It Excavating. Today we're going to walk you through the process of installing a sand mound system. This particular design of a septic system is used in the counties we work in where there's a high water table, where the system would be installed too close to a water table, or where there are heavy soils. And in this particular job, there was both. A sand mound system consists of a septic tank and a dosing tank. The dosing tank then pumps the liquids up to the elevation of the sand mound. So we began by stripping the topsoil and hauling in quite a bit of sand to form our basal area and our tapers to where we're going to build the bed. Once we have the sand mound at the proper elevation, then we begin to build the PVC header. The header is glued together and is attached to all the fingers that run down the entire length of the bed to put the liquids into the sand mound. The bed begins with a layer of rubber chips and after that we build the pipe network across it and then also surround it with some more rubber chips to complete the full bed. The last step before inspection is we install a filter fabric over the entire bed. This protects the bed from any sediment washing down into it and causing failure. Once the sand mound is installed, the final steps are we take the topsoil and we spread it over the entire bed and sand mound and we Harley rake finish it. We seed and straw everything so that we can get the vegetation growing and you've got a great looking yard once again. Until next time, this is Durbin from Dig It Excavating, providing professional septic service for southwestern Michigan since 2005.